Uh, hi everyone. So uh, I'm actually going to make a short video and then uh, probably turn in for the night. Uh, since uh, yeah, it's pretty late now and uh, I came back from work just a while ago. So and uh, I just thought that you know something struck my mind and I thought that was quite a good um, idea just 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 to post it uh, here. Um, I actually realized in the midst of um, talking with uh, a psychologist whom I actually um, yeah whom I actually uh, been uh, consulting uh, concerning my own PTSD uh, the symptoms of it um, PTSD being post-traumatic stress disorder that um, I mean I just told her one thing that uh, about my experiences with the narcissist especially uh, one of my um yeah my, my, one of my exes, uh, who was actually a magnetic narcissist, and um I just remembered that uh I mean I wasn't just telling the psychologist this but uh, I was also uh telling a friend, um whom I just I mean I met that friend about quite a, quite a while I knew that friend a long time ago but uh, I didn't really manage to actually talk with him until recently again. Uh, and to meet up and have a uh, you know a chat over coffee or tea, and uh, I just told a friend yesterday over um, the phone, yeah, uh, over WhatsApp, uh, you know about the ex narcissist, uh, and said you know don't be deceived by the uh, ex in yeah the intro don't be deceived by the introverted appearance of all these uh, you know people. Uh, I mean, the, the narcissist can actually come across, you know, as very introverted, but they are really, really unreserved and vocal about their abuse of you. Uh, when they actually start throwing a fit of uh, narcissistic rage, uh, that is when you actually start seeing the whole uh, mask that they have, the mask of civility, the mask of politeness, the mask of kindness, everything that they have feigned and faked in front of you, that fake facade, uh, it will slip off and it is at that point you start realizing that uh, you know the idea that the narcissists are, uh, I mean the person that you saw before you first knew, uh, the idea that they could have some kindness in them, that um, they have something good in them, uh, that it was all really just a lie. So uh yeah, this I wanted to make that video about the uh you know the narcissist perceived uh, goodness in themselves. Um the the truth is that I I mean I really believe that, that most narcissists are aware that they are not good people. Um this is a very common question. Are are, are we uh are, are we I mean that that kind of question has been going around that uh and I I've seen it in forums, I seen it uh me being asked like can they change for the better? Uh, you know, are they aware of something good in them that still remains? Uh, I actually don't believe that because uh, if you think about it, the nature of our, um, you know, our psychology, the way uh, we develop pathologies and 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 even possibly the the at least the tendency to actually um, demonstrate them and show them, uh, all these are actually uh, being fixed by the age of seven yeah the age of seven or eight years old so um, by the time we are you know like uh, quite a grown child probably around grade grade five or six our tendencies are pretty much fixed so if we are really uh, you know potentially psychopathic or narcissistic or just simply cruel callous uh, they're pretty much fixed in us and so, um, but this is the one thing about the narcissists. They don't even really believe that they're good people, but they keep on, you know, putting themselves across as good people. And it's pretty obvious because I, I still remember that uh, um, one particular narcissist that I knew uh, kept on saying, you know, I'm not a gentle person. I really kind of, uh, you know, I initially I was wondering why, why do they tell you that? Uh, some people will say, oh, you know, that maybe they're just trying to be funny. No, they're not trying to be funny. I think they are letting you in on their character that 
they have certain tendencies such as the tendency towards violence whether it's physical violence or emotional violence uh, and why do they do that they do that because they want to actually exonerate themselves um, yeah free themselves themselves of all this blame so let's say in the occasion that they really visit any violence on you they can just say you know see i told you that i would do that but you deserve it because you didn't walk away anyway and plus you um agitated me you irritated and annoyed me so i deserve to actually visit violence on you uh that that particular narcissist was just ah, sick was sick old ass bastard i just call that person that i didn't i mean i don't want to say that to the person's face uh i knew that the person was sick um you know that uh, i remember telling uh about yeah i mean a counselor and a psychotherapist about this and i was like uh concerning especially my time back uh, six years ago when i had so many narcissists in my life um that particular one was uh, uh yeah he, he he had a really uh uh, this this is delusional tendency to actually project his own violent uh, tendencies onto other people, including me. Uh, you know, claiming that uh, uh, he was accusing us, that saying that we would just uh, you know assault him and uh, potentially rape him. Uh, but no one wants to fuck you, please. I'm not even interested in guys like you. <laughs> I'm not even interested in guys to begin with. Oh, you motherfucker! But um, I mean, I I don't want to swear, but I'm just like disgusted by such people and the truth is that narcissists they are aware they are not good people uh, they they often drop hints at you that they have certain tendencies but uh, it's often in a form of like jokes and um, jokes and yeah embedded remarks like sarcasm and uh, hints at you uh, okay why they do that um, I guess that in reverse psychology, it really works to actually make you lower your guard. Uh, it's very ironic, but it does make us lower our guard because we don't take it seriously. Uh, as normal people, I mean, em empathetic people, we tend to want to believe the best in everyone. Uh, but the truth is that narcissists do not want to change. They know they are bad, they are evil, and they actually enjoy it. Okay. As a particular sadism in sadism, yeah, sadism, sadism or sadism in them, um, they love to just be cruel. So uh, I mean, the extreme end of uh, narcissism, especially is uh, magnificent narcissism. Um, there was a dark trial of uh, callousness, Machiavellianism, which is manipulation, and uh, basically narcissism, which was basically the desire for um, adoration. But now we, uh, I just found basically that there's also a dark tetrad, uh, a dark tetrad including the, the fourth trait of sadism, yeah, wanting to visit uh, pain on someone and enjoying it, uh, yeah, that that's very sick and cruel. But uh, um, that particular narcissist, I mean, I have some clutch on him, which was basically um, he he had a very um, particular tendency towards um, yeah he, he was seems to be very interested obsessed with rape culture uh, why do I say that because he was uh, putting out himself under another alias um, uh, yeah I mean another name another totally different identity and on social media on some other websites and uh, um, advertising his um, love for some wrestling sport or some fetish or Oh, it's not healthy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he does things like rapes men and women while doing that. Uh, and and then you have him uh, going off into uh, professions like uh, personal training or trying to compete in uh, some male beauty pageant like Manhunt. Uh, no, 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 Manhunt. No, it's not that. I, I don't know what pageant, but uh, he, he was doing that. So, um... Yeah, he was he was doing a lot of weird stuff, and 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 I just can't figure out the whole thing. But uh, I think that what we can say is that particular person, um, yeah, he had he has issues, and 
(um) they they don't even believe in their own goodness so (uh) why should we believe in their goodness and the worst thing is that (um) (ppo) they project onto us as the victims okay I won't (uh) really speculate anymore about that but (uh) that's it for now (uh) so I hope that everyone just realises that (um) ya these people really (uh) when they when they criticise you and call you the bad person (uh) it's not so much your fault as much as that they are projecting their own problems onto you (uh) ya their own issues are basically their own okay so that's it for now thanks bye bye